Haters on their own. Yes. And the first thing I want to know is that everybody take the chair you took out there back <laughs> to the same place? I, I could say it's because there's a door prize and I'd be lying. So that's not the case at all. All right, we're gonna have, uh, we're gonna have dinner in about uh, 30 minutes or so. And as you know, we've always gone through a process. But before we start our process with uh, Dallas introducing the class like he's always done, I wanna call up uh, Janice now. I know we don't have to say it, we say it every five years. We very much appreciate the job that Janice has done on our behalf for all these years. But she also, she also started a, a program uh, some 10 years ago with the scholarship to uh, Pasco High students. And she has an announcement in that regard. So Janice, come on up. I have no way can I remember what I was going to say. So I'm um, first of all, we have the very best class ever. Yeah. I told that to my son that lives in Florida. And his uh, reasoning for it, he said, was because there's no ego in this class. Um, I want to say special thanks to Pete Anderson, who did our part to remove name tags, and um, Tom Vogel, because he always brings the wine for the party, and everyone that helped, which is huge, people that have become part of our class simply because they come to the reunions. <laughs> and um, so, when you get your folder tonight, this is kind of special, when you get your folder tonight, it will have the picture in the folder. But there's also two DVDs in the folder. Um, I don't know if you were aware, but Pat Hanrenny's husband, Pat, who's passed, and. Her husband used to come to all three and take all of our pictures. So I ended up with this box of media. What do I know? There were slides, there were pictures, there were movies or video or any number of things. And I have no idea what to do with them. So I took him to a media person and he consolidated them. And working between he and I, we came up with two DVDs. Oh, no. And one is from the reunion in 2014, and it's the video. And the second one are still shots, like we're at a funeral or something. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it's of all of them. So, and when I would consult with Linda, that's not here. Um, we toyed with charging for them, and yet we really didn't want to charge for them. So we ended up saying, no, we're not gonna charge for them. And so then my same son in Florida said, I will make the DVDs from the copies. So those are in the folder. And it's probably not something you're going to want to sit through at several times or anything, but hey, it's a memory. Yeah. And it's not a real good, clear view, but it's something. Um, and I'm glad we didn't charge. <laughs> um, now, um, when you leave, take anything you want. Well, not what's for sale, because they'll try to take their stuff. But anything, any memorabilia, anything. And there's a whole section at the end of the table over there that is uh, memorabilia, and you're welcome to anything. Anything on the tables, except what belongs to the hotel. Um, let me see. Um, and you, uh, what I wanted to say was, you have always, all, 
been so supportive of me, and I'm certainly not the only one, but I have a bracelet that I wear all the time, and it says on it, it says, um, see, I can't even remember what's on my bracelet. Um, I get by with a little help from my friends. So. And every night when I go to bed, I write my prayers. And every night I say, may all the glory go to God. Amen. Okay, I'm not done. Um, the, I was ready to get rid of the scholarship fund. I thought, okay, we've gone 10 years. I keep having to ask for money and I was done. Well, so I tried to end it, but the hue and cry that came from the classmates are like, no, no, we need, we need the scholarship fund. It's us, and it's supportive of a, a student, you know? And I have always been fortunate to be the one that awards the scholarship. And it's a really heartwarming, uh, program that the high school puts on. And um, it's neat to see the kids, and it's fun to give the, the scholarship. But once we give the scholarship, um, we, never, we never hear from them again. So we don't really know, like, was that a good thing, you know? Well, tonight, we're going to hear. I'm going to cry. We're going to hear from a scholarship winner. And it was in 2016 when we awarded the scholarship to Carson Bergstrom. And he's going to come talk to you. Thanks to Janice. Uh, thanks everyone for uh, inviting me out to come talk to you tonight and um, for the past almost 10 years since uh, I received this scholarship. Um, yeah, it's been quite a journey. So uh, I'll echo the class of 1959 being one of the best classes of, of Pasco High School, maybe the best. and. I'm from the class of 2016, so there's quite a quite a lot in there too. Um, but uh, I think I think you make a good argument. Um, so yeah, 10 years since I received the scholarship, and I, I want to stand here and thank you for for your investment um, back back there in uh, 2016, and now it's eight years, almost 10 years since then. Um, and I wanted to give you a little update on, on my journey, where things have taken me. Um, so right after graduating from Pasco High School, I went to uh, Pacific Lutheran University over in Tacoma. Um, yeah, and had a blast there. I studied chemistry, um, and I met my girlfriend, Danielle, <laughs> who's also lovely, if you get a chance to meet her. Um, she's, yeah, yeah, she's far more lovely than I am. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I studied chemistry, had a blast there, um, and then uh, came back here actually to the Tri-Cities and uh, started at PNNL. Um, I was a biomedical researcher there for two years. Um, studied various things that I dreamed of studying as a high school student, uh, contributing to a lot of our uh, work in the pandemic um, in preventing disease and uh, identifying disease before it becomes future pandemics. So um, really appreciate uh, all the mentorship I had at Pasco High School that allowed me to flourish in that role. Um, and then your investment as well that helped me at PLU um, realize that I wanted to be uh, a biologist and, and maybe not even a chemist, um, which was a surprise to me. <laughs> um, my, my real big, uh, reason for going to PLU though was my grandfather. Um, he had a, uh, a disease called ALS. Um, and uh, growing up, 
Um, he was he was kind of my uh, my my father figure growing up. Um, he was a diligent worker. Um, he started a, a business out of the airport. Probably many of you heard of Birch from Aircraft. Um, and uh, yeah, so he he was a big influence in me and. Um, his his kind of struggle with the ALS was was something that I took to heart, um, and uh, ended up um, doing research in ALS um, a little bit, and then uh, I went to medical school. I'm still in medical school right now. Actually, I'm uh, getting getting ready to graduate this year, um, and then I'll, I will be. Uh, thank you, thank you, and uh, I'll be actually going into neurology. Um, in the in the next year um so hopefully uh yeah be continuing that and then hopefully upon graduation from that when 12 16 years later after that, um hopefully i'll be coming back to the tri-cities and, and serving as a neurologist in this area um currently actually i'm uh, in neurology and getting to see patients um, over at catholic and uh, we Daniel came and scrubs today, so as you can tell, we, we came straight from work. So apologize for that as well, but um, yeah, so so it's come a long ways, and, and this journey has taken me a bunch of places um, around the country. I've, I've been doing research in Chicago and um, at PNNL, obviously, which has connected me with places all around the world. I'll be at Stanford this November. Um, so yeah, I really appreciate your investment in me. Um, Initially, as a high school student, your belief in me as I did as a as a high school student, it really meant a lot to me, and uh, it made a big difference in my life. So I appreciate you all being here and taking the time to uh, listen to me ramble on for a little bit. Um, Janice, thank you for having me come out, and uh, yeah, hope you guys have a great evening, great reunion, and uh, I hope that my class is this cool one day. Yeah. <laughs>
with a group of folks that was more receptive, a community that was a refuge when they were in trouble, and never had a situation where I know one bulldog was in a difficulty where another bulldog would lend a helping hand or was there when they were in need. So for all of those things that you all have provided to each other and to me, I want to say thank you and thank yourself. So when I call the roll, it's not just a roll, it's the honor roll. There's nothing like it. I've seen a lot of stuff in, in relationships, that's my profession. And this is an A plus relationship, you know, these relationships last longer than marriages, believe it or not. And they're still solid. As one person would say, marinate on that for you barbecues, you know, yeah. and, <laughs> let that marinate. But it's my honor to call the honor roll, and here we go. And you can raise your hand. In the old days, we just to let you get up and speak, but now I understand that we can hardly hear. <laughs> some, some of us can hardly walk, but we are here. And I'm gonna tell you something, you don't have to say anything. The, the chemistry, the vibration and all that says it all, you know? That song you were listening to said, melt my heart, and I can assure you that a lot of hearts are melted. Pete Anderson. Isidore Andrews, we tried our darndest to get him here, but he's here in spirit, and he's been loved upon by uh, members of the community, Janice and George, and myself and other people. He's over in the uh, nursing home. I called him three times this morning to try to drag him over here, but he's doing well. But anyway, so he's here in the spirit. This is Roy Andrews. I'm here as your last president, and there's a number of other officers that was here in the class. I think Paul Shelley is here, maybe Janet Lentz. Whoever was that first semester group of officers, I think I saw a couple of two or three names on the list. We want to recognize you and thank you for holding this group together and bringing us, you know, and handing the baton or the torch or whatever you want to call it, off to me and Doc and Lamar and uh, all of you. I was going through that yearbook and I tell you, all of us contribute to what we enjoy here right now. Dennis Burroughs and Virginia Burroughs. Right here. Right over there. Put your arm up, boy. You're cold. There you go. Pat Bennett Phillips. You got her? Pat Bertram Jensen and Laverne and twin daughters Cindy and Chris. All right. Frank Metric and Shelly McCall. Let me wipe some of this water out of my eyes and stick. But anyway, I still can see Ken Brickett and Joan Brickett. Remember them? They used to take me rabbit hunting and all of that when they had a jack rabbit in the Tri Cities. Charlie Brown and, and, and Margaret Brown. Margaret Brown. Don Bushy and Dorothy Bushy. I don't know who was playing in I mean, junior high school. Skip Cook. And Babette Cook, Sharon Cornelius Thompson, and Jim Thompson. You got them some show sure there, she's over there. Uh, Judy Cresswell, Kenneth, oh, she's not here. Carol Sue Custer Perkins. Did someone say him? Greg Jackson's and Beth Jackson. All right. Tom Kidwell. Millie Kidwell. All right. Janet Lance Tagaris and Jeffrey Tagaris. Uh, Jeffrey Loman. I pronounced that right? You got it? There she is. Thank you. All right. George Ling and Janice 
I'll call you Pope just for my issues. <laughs> Dennis Hope, Link, and daughter, Tracy Link, and Carlson, and Danielle. All right. I haven't skipped the page yet. No, I got him here somewhere. It's, even if I got that in the list, I got anybody on this shoot the call. You know, I gave this a page, but I'll get right back to it. Indeed. Okay. Mike Meek. Here I am. And Teresa Meek. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? John Mitchell. Billy Mitchell. John Warman, Daniels, and was that John Daniels? <laughs> Joe Mosbar, Judy Jump Mosbar. There they are. Sally Neff, how do you pronounce your last name? Right? All right. And John Ortega, and Sally's daughter and son in law, I'm going to call it Amy, and Amy? And Matt Mel Keating? Got it. Got it. All right. Lamar Palmer and Joanne Lamar. Quentin Palmer. Quentin Palmer. <coughs> Joan Putwell Coker. John Ray. John Ray. And Gail Ash. Paul Shelley. Oh, man, I see the boy. <laughs> Okay, Kathy Smith, how oh, is that? Lima, and her sister Mary Smith. Where? All right. Let me go back and get that page that I missed. All right, here we go with Danny Downs. And Cherry Downs. Gary Duplo and Linda Duplo. Don Eisenberg. Hey. <laughs> Sherry Alvin Henderson and daughter Karen Lansky. <laughs> Rose Zimfinger, Rick Hughes. That goes over there. Laverne Engelke and Sammy Engelke. John Gouet and Linda Negley Gouet. Anita Hayden Evans, Jack Hart, and Sandy Hart, Doc Hastings, Claire Hastings, Linda Head Hammer, and Mike Hammer, Ron Hendrickson, and Charlene Henderson. Sandy Helsman Sprout, <coughs> Janet Hook Jones, and Vi Batley, or is it Vi Batley? Not here? Okay. Did I stumble through my pages here? I've got Craig Jackson, I know I called that name. And we're over, hopefully, on the right page <laughs> Sarah Stringham Gurley and Norm Gurley. Martin Terrell and John Terrell. <laughs> Bob Thielen. Oh, there we go. <laughs> another, another musician, Jim Farb and Catherine Healy. Are not here? Tom Vogel and Denise Vogel. Frank Botaw and Sandra Botaw. Over here. Dennis Warnaby. Dennis Wonderman. Dennis Wonderman. Long time no see. Irene Wilbur, Hitman. Long time no see. You're evil. Let me see you. Ken Woods and Mary Tom. Don Zacker and Emma Cook Zacker. Did I miss anyone? No one? My companion is 
my granddaughter, Ashley. And where did she go? She's back. Way in the back. My granddaughter, Ashley. All right. So let me say this, folks. I know that the Marine Corps borrowed, borrowed something from us, I believe, when they say no Marine left behind. I don't think we've ever left one of our classrooms behind in a new country. And there was another. And for those who are believers, now there is a note in my thing, guys, that I've been reading. Where are you now? I'm supposed to read it. Okay, I don't have to read it. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. But anyway, you know, they said no Marine left behind, no soldier left behind. We have never left a classmate behind. And anything that I know that we've known that, that we needed, Janice has seen to that and the other supporters that she had and made reference to her bracelet, uh, made sure that that was the case. And I can only say that our class did not left one behind indeed. And all I can say here again is thank you. Thank you all for each other and all of that. Now those for those believers in what I'm about to say, I'll say it this way. May the class of nine be with you and also <laughs> Amen. 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 And now we come to the part before we get the NRC is, is getting here. We, you know, I'm not sure exactly how many classmates we had. I thought our graduating class was 196. Jack Harp told me it was 199. Let's just say it was roughly 200 and let it go at that, okay? That's, that's pretty good math. Now, Lamar is gonna come up here in a moment and talk about those, of course, that have uh, passed away. And by our, by our latest count, uh, that figure is over half our class. So that means that there's roughly 100 of us still around. And here present tonight is over 50 of our classmates. That's pretty remarkable. But I think even something more remarkable, if that figure is right, that's 25% of our graduating class 65 years ago. So what Dallas says, I will second, uh, uh, and I certainly had great relationships with all of you for the years. But I'm going to call Lamar up now, because Lamar uh, has always had a way of kind of helping us remember uh, some or all of our classmates that are here. So Lamar, come on up. three times a week for an hour, talk to myself, and uh, I've had good conversation about what I should say tonight. One of the things I was told is, uh, don't stand here and talk about those people that have passed for 10 or 15 minutes and bore everybody, everybody to death. So here's the deal. What we're going to do is you're going to listen to me for two minutes or less. And then I'm going to ask you at your table, members of the class, to pick somebody out and exchange information about somebody that you really loved, enjoyed, that has passed. Each of you do that for a minute. I'll take two minutes then. So is, does everybody understand what I just asked? Pretty simple, because I, I want us to do it. Now, I'm going to make this simple because I'm going to tell you about somebody who passed that I was uh, fairly close to, and that's, uh, let's see, what's his name? Oh, Larry Fogg. Larry, Larry and I played on the line in football together for many years, and in high school we were together again. He was the right tackle, I was the right guard, knuckle dragon lineman. And uh, Larry, I don't know how many of you know 
what a guy he was. But he was the, uh, named the most inspirational player on the team our senior year. And he and I both uh, escorted senior princesses at the homecoming. So a couple, three years earlier, when we both had driver's licenses on a Wednesday night, I was driving an old 1947 Nash, and he was driving his girlfriend brand new Chevrolet. And uh, he ran a stop sign on about 11th or 12th near Yakima and ran right into the side of my car. <laughs> yes. He had three or four girls with him. And uh, I had some kids with me. In any case, we went to court and he was found guilty. We still remain friends. Larry was quite a guy. And uh, he raised four wonderful sons all who became very uh, successful in the uh, construction building industry. Uh, Larry passed away, I believe, last year, living in Florida. Okay, so uh, I have recorded as, my goodness, quarter to six, is that what time it is? Yeah. Quarter to seven. It's a quarter to seven, I don't know my watch. So, pick, pick somebody at your table and uh, talk back and forth. Each of you take one minute and tell the other ones about somebody that you really like. <laughs> and then trade off, okay? <laughs> sure, sure, absolutely. That's going to happen. That's going to happen.